I'm going to be giving away two PlayStation 5s to a random YouTube subscriber and a random Instagram follower. The rules are simple. All you gotta do, make sure you guys are subbed to the YouTube channel and make sure you guys go to my Instagram at yourfriendkyle underscore. Find this post and comment here from YouTube on it, all right? I'll be choosing two random guys to win a random PlayStation 5. And if you guys want the cash instead, I'll cash you guys out $500 just for participating, all right? Now look, we're celebrating MLB The Show 21. We got many more giveaways to go. Make sure you guys have notifications on and stay tuned. I appreciate all you guys' support. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Welcome to MLB The Show 21. It is finally out and we have been waiting for this moment forever, man. Like I have been waiting for this to go on the Xbox and for this new game to release since like 1943. It truly feels like it has been the longest year of my life in anticipation for this game. But a lot of you guys are in here probably haven't played much MLB The Show yet. You're maybe either, uh, either they're just getting the game for the first time, period. Or maybe you're coming from Xbox and you guys finally got the game. So if you guys are in here because of that, I'm telling you guys right now that you are in the right place to help basically, I don't know, learn how to become a top player as quick as you can. Let's say as quick as you can. Now, I used to be a top three player in the world. I'm still pretty good. I like to say I'm top 50 because whenever I try, I still do. And I still can, um, I've done some damage in some tournaments. So I take pride in how I play. If you guys go on my Twitch channel, they'll speak highly of me. So I think I'm a good guy to help do this. And my last hitting tips video got over 180,000 views. And you guys can see in the comments how much it helped a lot of people. And I still get messages about how much it helps. So I'm really trying to make sure that I'm the one that you guys can go to to help learn the ropes of this game. Now there's some easy steps I'm going to give you for for the just to start it off. Now, if you guys are on Xbox or whatever you guys are on, the first thing I want to tell you guys is it is very, very, very important to have a monitor. Okay, I have an Asus one millisecond response time monitor, and it helps. Uh, it just helps with input lag and stuff like that. You don't ever want there to be any you know lag between the communication with your controller and the in the monitor because as soon as that happens you're you're far behind this game when you get on the higher difficulties it gets very very tough to hit it gets extremely tough to hit because the pitch speeds are fast the pitches are moving crazy you got to give yourself every advantage you can get all right so make sure you guys get a monitor they're not too expensive you could probably get a good one millisecond response time monitor for around a hundred dollars i promise you guys it is a worthy investment you guys need to get that done and speaking of other equipment that you need in order to make sure that you are at tip top shape in your gameplay make sure you guys are using control freaks all right these are control freaks. I'll show you multiple examples of them. You got a high rise galaxy. This is the one I use right now on the PS5 controller. It's the one I feel most comfortable with. You also got the CQCs that are lower. You got Infernos. There's a bunch of ones to get. If you guys want to go shopping for them, go to Control Freaks. You'll see the uh, you'll see the link in my description. Use code YFK. It'll get you a discount. And trust me, it'll be very worth it if you guys get that it helps you guys be more accurate with your pci and if you don't know what that is i'll go over that with you right now but make sure you guys get a monitor make sure you guys get control freaks make sure you guys are giving yourself that advantage that you guys need before you actually hop in the game all right so now we're right here um i'm gonna show you guys my settings that i use while hitting i think that these settings give you the best uh you know vision the best chance to hit the ball properly so Let's get into it. Now, right out the gate, I'm gonna show you guys the hitting view, okay? Now, what you guys can do, and I will show you, you guys are gonna go to custom practice and you can go through each hitting view and see which one you like the most. For you guys that are new to this game, I suggest either go in with strike zone or strike zone high. I sometimes switch between the two depending on if I'm in a slump or which one I'm feeling uh, better with, but strike zone high allows me to kinda get a higher view of the strike zone so I can distinguish the higher pitches better. And sometimes if I'm struggling that or if I'm in a slump, that's what I'm gonna go towards. But strike zone also works as well. I suggest you go to custom practice and you use both of them to see which one you guys wanna use. Now, the reason why I use medium in, in play view offense is because when I hit the ball in the outfield and I have like a runner on third, it gives me the best vision on whether I want my guy to tag up, whether I think the ball's dropping, whether I think it's getting caught. Dynamic is a way cooler view. You could see your guys' no doubters. You can, the way the ball curves, it looks cooler. 
but I think medium helps you make a lot less mistakes. And if I'm playing competitively, I definitely wanna make the, le the least amount of mistakes as possible. And if you guys are trying to learn to get better, I suggest you do the same. But for the content, I may go back to dynamic just so it looks cooler for you guys. Um, hitting interface, this is the most important part of this whole video, zone hitting. It'll be very hard and I will show you what zone is, but I promise you guys that zone is the way to go. All right, zone is gonna give you the most control over your own uh, results hitting wise. Um, I'll explain it more as it goes along, but trust me, just put it on zone and just practice that. All right, we're using buttons input. That means you're using X to swing. That's pretty simple. Um, flick, that's irrelevant. Now PCI. You guys are gonna get to know what this is once you get into the settings, but do me a favor right now, and if you guys are watching this and you guys have not played MLB The Show before, do me a favor and just copy the settings I have and go from there, okay? You're gonna go to PCI coverage, uh, I mean PCI on, you're gonna go to center diamonds, PCI inner wedge, PCI color white, and then 60%. For the fade out in the outer, you're gonna go to none. All right, now I'm gonna explain to you guys what each of these means when we go to custom practice and I'm gonna show you exactly what they are, all right? That's it for the settings. Hopefully you guys, you know, kind of understood that. And if you guys have any questions during this hitting tips video, you guys leave comments below and I'll be sure to answer as many as I can or I'll have uh, my brother answer him. You know, he knows everything that I feel about this game. But now it's time to show you guys one of the coolest things about this game, all right? We're gonna go to, um, let's see, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Custom practice. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Dodge, or we'll go to, uh, I'll use the National League, American League, team, uh, the National League All-Stars against the American League All-Stars. And um, this makes it where basically they'll, uh, we'll be facing pitchers that are pretty glitchy in the game. And that's a good thing because you wanna face guys that you're most likely gonna face online. You don't wanna practice against guys that aren't good at the game, you know what I mean? Because you're basically just gonna be served BP and you're not really getting any practice reps. Okay, so here's what we're at right now. We're on practice type, right? Now this is important. If you guys have not played this game or if you guys are just looking to get better at this game and you've played previous years, Go to custom practice. Now, I don't, I'm not usually a guy who used to do this, but they added something very, very important to this year's game. Now, let me show you. Practice type, we're going to batting. We're making sure that we're batting. Um, for the pitcher, let's see, there's Bieber, Garrett Cole, Maeda. Now, none of these guys, pay attention to these pitch repertoires, okay? We are gonna choose a guy that has either a cutter or a sinker, but preferably both, because cutters and sinkers are the hardest pitches to hit in MLB The Show. I promise you guys, that's the case. Maybe they change it this year, but I truly doubt it. So we're gonna find somebody that has two of those pitches. Now, Maeda has a sinker, Ryu. He has a sinker and he has a cutter. Now he's a lefty. So, um, I mean, Ryu's can be really glitchy this year with that pitch repertoire. I really like that. Now. I have this whole lineup that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use every batter, but this is the game changer in custom practice this year. As you go along in your MLB The Show journey, you guys will notice that there are certain pitches you guys struggle against, and there's certain pitches that you guys are good against. I myself, I'm not trying to give my gameplay away because I know you guys, you guys are gonna be trying to play against me and you guys are gonna know my weakness, but I'll tell you anyways. High and outside cutters, I've never really been good against, okay? So let's say, well, that's usually with a righty against uh, against a righty. So if it's a lefty, it's usually cutters on the inside. So if I want to, I can literally take away changeups, fastballs, curveballs, and sinkers, and just go to all inside zones. And all Ryu will throw to me. All Ryu, oh wait, we're on legend. So I'm gonna make this a little easier so you guys can see. All star is what you're gonna be playing on. On uh, you're gonna be playing on all star on um, on battle royale in a majority of your way coming up to rank season. So I'm just gonna show you just to give you an idea of what we're at. So this is the PCI right here, right? Okay. Now if you pay attention, right? I'm gonna take a couple pitches. All he's gonna throw is cutters on the inside now. Now this helps me because if I have troubles against cutters on the inside. He's gonna be throwing them, and that's not a very good swing at all. But this is my this is my first time swinging on this game, so this will actually be good practice for me as well. But he's throwing cutters on the inside every time, so I can practice recognizing it. And as you see, it's a perfect, perfect, makes a beautiful sound, has a nice vibration on the controller as well. I love feeling that. But he's just gonna keep throwing cutters on the inside, and I'm gonna practice 
you know, recognizing it, practice moving my PCI in there, and it's just taking practice reps of what I'm struggling with. Now, if I wanna get a little bit more advanced, because obviously now I see it's just all gonna be inside stuff. Now let's add the sinker in there and we'll do um, we'll do inside and outside zones. So now he's gonna go either inside or outside with a cutter and sinker that move the opposite way. So he threw another cutter and obviously we were able to distinguish it and we hit another perfect, perfect ball. Now those perfect, perfect sound delicious. I'm not gonna lie, that feels so good, all right? He threw in, Jesus! Boys, this feels good. That feels good. We like that. We got sinkers. We got all outside zones. And you know what? I'm adding everything right now. We're adding everything. We're letting him throw everywhere. All zones are allowed. So now we are just fully trying to distinguish what pitches he's throwing. This is just pure BP. See, now he's throwing curveballs. He's going to throw a bunch of stuff. And we're not used to it. And we're going to try to get used to it. Whenever you're struggling against a pitcher, whenever you're struggling against a pitcher, you go to this custom practice, you take reps against them, and I promise you it'll make you do better. What you need to do is go on Legend, though, once you start getting uh, the hang of things so you don't get too comfortable, and then you progressively go harder and harder, all right? Now, let's go over the PCI stuff, right? So as I showed you, the PCI I'm using is on wedges, uh, on with wedge, diamond, white at 60%. I'm not gonna take any swings, I'm just gonna show you. This is your PCI, right? Now the reason why I'm using wedge is because to me, it looks most like a baseball bat. So I kind of get the idea, I'll swing here. I'm trying to get the middle of the zone, the middle of the PCI. All right, we were a little under it, it's still a home run though, but that's where I'm trying to get it. You know what I mean? I'm trying to barrel it up, just like a real live baseball. Now the other ones that I'll show you, there's ones uh, I used to like to use. It's called uh, Reticle, I think. Or I used I used Starfighter too, so I'll show you Starfighter. Starfighter helps a lot of people be a little bit more comfortable. There's some people that struggle. Um, some people that struggle lefty lefty and righty righty when they use wedge. But for me, um, this kind of helped me just kind of get that out of my head and just take good swings. Um, as you can see, we just keep hitting tanks now, which is good. So that's one you can use. What I want you to do though, since you're in custom practice, use all of these. There's there's no rush. Try every single one of these settings and find out what you like. Same with the uh, same with the hitting view. I'm on strike zone high. Maybe you'll like something different. But make sure you guys are comfortable with what you're doing before you go to anything. All right. Now let's go on a hitting approach. I'm going to show you what I do. I start my PCI. The way you're going to move your PCI is obviously with this. I start my PCI in the middle and I react to wherever it is. Nobody does that. A lot of people, and there's a lot of players that are a lot better than me that try other things, right? So like uh, some people will start their PCI up like this. That was a dot. Some people will start their PCI up like this because they struggle getting to the high and end stuff. So they'll start their PCI like this and then they'll react like that, which clearly if I could do that every time, I would do that. But some people will start their PCI out here out here and then react, which uh, seemed to work out quite well too. Oh no, that's not doing anything. But basically people will tend to start their PCI on near the pitches that they struggle against. So they'll go like down here if they can't hit low and in stuff. As you can see right now, this is all star, so it's gonna be a little easier for me to hit. But um, I like to just start it right here. So I don't have any bite. God, those perfect, perfect sound delicious. But I like to start my PCI just right in the middle so I don't have any biased movements towards anything. I am just loose and ready to go no matter where that pitch is. You know what I mean? So that's what I try to do. I keep it right in the middle. But as I said, you guys try all these different approaches, all right? Make sure you guys are trying to do all types of certain stuff. If you guys aren't hitting high stuff, start your PCI up here just like that, baby. If it, if it ends up right there, you're all set. The problem is if you're too committed on that high stuff and it goes low, you may be in trouble. You know what I mean? Same if you start low. Some people like to start down here, but if so, that's, that's a dot. They need to pay that man. But if you start here a little lower, you know what I mean? It may help you for that low stuff, but if something comes high, it may be hard to hit. All right. So right now, as you can see, we got used to Rio. We definitely got used to him. Now, now that I'm used to Rio and I know what he's like, Let's go ahead. Let's switch it to, um, well, I'll switch to a lefty. So I'll switch to a lefty and then we'll go with, let's see, let's see. Who do we got? Who do we got? 
Nick Anderson's a really good pitcher in the game. We'll try lefty lefty. We'll go Brad Hand, and then we'll face uh, Freddie Freeman with them. And if you're struggling lefty lefty, then you do this and you practice lefty lefty. You know what I mean? This custom practice, man, it it's set up perfectly for you guys to practice all of your weaknesses. You guys can do whatever you want. And that's what I love about it. I never really, if I was struggling or if I needed to practice something, I would just go to rank seasons and I would just play until I'm out of my slump. Now, if I know I'm late on everything, I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna turn on fastballs and I am going to just try to smack fastballs. I'm gonna make sure that I get out of my slump before I hop into ranked and ruin my record. You know what I mean? And that's what all, that's all you guys need to do. If you guys are working on getting better, it's all practice reps, just like anything in real life. And if you guys have ever have any questions, you guys, I have these tip videos that I'm gonna be putting out. You guys can go into my Twitch channel and ask me what's up. You guys can comment on uh, on YouTube and ask. You know, it's 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 an open book right now. I'm trying to help you Xbox guys get acquainted so you guys can have fun with us like we've been having, all right? The game is really fun once you start to get the hang of it. And I, I'm excited for you guys to join us. Now, lefty lefty is something that's usually super hard for a lot of people. A lot of people struggle lefty lefty. So one thing that you can do, and I'm sure if you guys are new to this game, you guys aren't gonna have too much fun batting lefty lefty. It's a little tough. So one thing that you might wanna try to do is when you get to a lefty lefty matchup, you can go in here and go to all inside zones because that's how people are usually gonna be pitching you when they're using these lefties. And you can just practice pulling inside to some of these pitches. See, I, I mean, I know it's in, on the inside and I still missed it. Sometimes lefty lefty is really tough. But all you can do is just practice. That's why I love, I love that they, um, that they added this feature where you can pick the pitches. Now, one other thing I wanna tell you guys, right? I'm in practice right now, right? I know the pitches are going on the inside, so I could just be like that and just be hitting the inside, but I don't want that. I wanna practice moving my PCI from where I usually start it. I usually start my PCI in the middle, so I wanna practice that movement of going inside. I don't wanna cheat. If you cheat, you're not getting better. You're not learning. So I wanna practice going from the middle and extending on the inside. You know what I mean? I don't wanna start building any bad habits. This is what, this is what you wanna do. So we'll try one more time. There we go. All right, so that's pretty much it for um, for the batting practice. I mean, you guys pretty much get the hang of it. Um, I'm sure there'll, you guys can go back to this video for reference if you guys need to learn how to go and uh, do these zones and this custom hitting. But you guys, it's, it's the way to go. I mean, this custom practice is the one. Now, let me show you guys another feature that's really cool about this game. Now, Challenge of the Week is an online arcade mode where basically you compete against people all around the world in this hitting challenge, and you can actually win real life prizes as you compete. Now, this is a cool way to be competitive while also getting a lot better at the game because you don't lose anything when you're playing and you lose. You, you don't lose a record, you know what I mean? There, there's nothing bad that happens out of it. What you do is basically they give you a player who this week is Tatis, and they give you a pitcher that you have to face who is Bumgarner. Now this is gonna be an easy matchup for people that use Tatis because Bumgarner's been BP lately, you guys know that. So basically you're gonna use Tatis and hopefully the servers are up right now where I can do this. Let's try it because I'd love to show you guys. Um, so basically, yeah, it looks like it's gonna work. So I'm gonna use Tatis and I'm, gonna, I'm not trying to do the whole thing, I'm just gonna show you guys. Um, I'm using Tatis and I'm gonna try to get as many hits as I can off Bumgarner without striking out. Now, as you can see, the difficulty in the top corner says rookie, okay? Now, since it's on rookie, it's gonna be really easy in the beginning. As you can see, we just, was that a, that wasn't a home run? Jeez, I thought that was a home run. It was a perfect, perfect. This, the pitches are so slow right now. The pitches are so slow right now, but I'm gonna show you right now. We're gonna level up. We're on rookie right now. Oh, and you don't wanna swing at any balls. I just swung at a ball, but if you take a pitch, that's a ball, it'll give you a lot of points. So make sure to do that. We're just gonna keep getting these base hits. You don't wanna hit foul balls. You don't wanna work a two strike count. You don't wanna put yourself in a situation to strike out. Now, obviously once you get, I love the feeling of those perfect perfects, man. Once you get to higher difficulties, it's gonna be impossible to not foul balls off. See, now we're on all-star, right? So our PCI is getting smaller. The pitch speed's gonna get faster. That's a foul ball. That was a bad pitch to swing at. But the, the pitches are gonna get faster and it's just gonna be tougher to go. 
And this is what's going to make you get better at the game. You know what I mean? Because you're trying to compete for these points and these prizes while also it's batting practice. See, the, the pitches are going to start breaking more. They're going to start... The pitcher's just going to get better. The difficulty gets harder. But you just do not want to strike out. You don't want to swing and miss, and you don't want to take a called third strike. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get to legend so I can show you guys how, how crazy it can get. There we go. We're just going to keep trying to get these hits because as long as we get hits, the points are, are going up. So we're on Hall of Fame right now. We're going to try to keep going, try to get that difficulty bar to legend so I can show you guys how crazy it gets. But we're just going to keep even even those small, small grounders. It's fine. It's fine. You just don't want to strike out. It's just like a regular at bat. If you foul the ball off, you're staying alive. These um, these grounders are getting you points and they're not losing you any of your uh, momentum. That's fine. OK, difficulty increase. Now we are on legend. We're on the highest difficulty. Now's where it starts getting tough. See, we take a pitch there. But you see how small the PCI has now gotten compared to when we first started. All right, what you want to do is you want to get that multiplier as high as you can. Nope. Just by taking pitches, by getting hard hit balls. And that's how you're going to basically get... Um... Sorry, I'm starting to focus a little too much on this. I, I don't usually play this stuff, but it is kind of fun. But that's how you're going to get the mo uh, as many points as possible to help get, your, get in that top five and win some prizes. But like I said, it's just a funner way to take BP. It's a way to be competitive while also, you know, practicing. There we go. Yeah, but now you guys are kind of getting the drift of it. I don't want to spend too much time on this because I don't usually... Uh, it's just not my cup of tea. I, don't, I would just sit here and keep fouling things off. But I'm actually on a pretty good run right now. And um, yeah, man, now you guys know. We're going to quit out of this. It gives us a strike. You don't want to quit out of it. Don't start a challenge of the week if you don't have time to finish it, all right? Don't. But that's a that's challenge of the week for you guys. Now, the last tip I can give you guys about hitting and about all that stuff, play online rated. You know what I mean? Play ranked, play events, play uh, battle royale because there's you could do the custom practice all you want. You could face those guys, but there's nothing better than facing real life people, seeing how they pitch, handling all that stuff. You know what I mean? You want to see how these guys are going to pitch you online. You want to see the players that they're using. Some people will be using legends that you just can't use in custom practice. So make sure that you guys are, you know, you guys are doing that because the, those real life reps, those are, those are what help. And also Get a team that you're comfortable with. If you're having trouble doing lefty lefty or righty righty, get your team full of switch hitters and you know do something like that. It's all about feeling comfortable, man. That's that's what you want to do. Whether it be using guys that you're comfortable with their batting stances, using guys that you know have nice swings, you'll learn as you play this game that there's more to it than just attributes. All right, trust me. There's multiple things that go into being comfortable hitting. One tip that I forgot, I'm gonna I'm gonna be raffling off some tips that I that I forget about as I as I um as I go along because I have a couple people that are reminding me and I have my old video that I'm referencing because I want to make sure that I give you guys all the tips that you possibly can have and I'm trying to remember. So when I'm hitting right in this game and just like in real life, what you want to do, you want to sit on fastball but you want to adjust the off speed. So what you're doing is you're looking up high. You're looking up the pitch that you would that would require the least amount of time to to adjust to, you know what I mean, and to process. That's the pitch that you want to be expecting. So like a high and end fastball, usually the toughest to react to. You want to kind of expect that. Whether you're doing it with your PCI, which some people do, or you're just looking there. That's what I do. I still start my PCI in the middle, but you want to expect that fastball because you want to be able to pull it and you want to be able to hit it hard. And then you want to be able to, you know, process recognizing the off speed and adjusting to that. But as soon as you start sitting there guessing pitches in your head, thinking off speed, you're going to get fastballs blown by you. That's just what's going to happen. Especially you got guys that have outlier, which means that when a pitcher can throw 102, those guys are just going to gas you up. So make sure you guys are, are practicing hitting fastballs and sitting on fastballs. Another tip, there's um, for square is power swing. Circle is contact swing. Don't use those. Do not use them. No matter how tempting it may sound, do not use power swing. Just use X. You guys will be just fine, all right? You don't want to mess with those other swings. They are not good. Just use X. 
And the last thing that I'll remind you guys, um, so for your players, right? Let me go over to my squad. So the PCI that I was showing you, obviously you want your PCI to be as big as possible. You want your PCI to be big so you can have a better chance of landing it on the ball when the pitch comes. Now, the way that your PCI is affected is by the contact rating. So Mike Trout has a 98 contact versus righties. That's a decent sized PCI. Once you get to legend, uh, you kind of want over 100. So 98 wouldn't make a big deal. Trout's always good regardless. But you're going to have guys like Babe Ruth and stuff like that that have 125 contact. And their PCI is going to be as big as possible. So that's kind of what I look for. I love using guys with big PCIs because it just helps me feel more comfortable at the plate. All right. If I think of anything else, I'll add them in the comments. But I think that's pretty much it. I think you guys are good to go. I think you guys are ready to start practicing. And let me know if you guys uh, enjoy these tips and let me know if it helped you guys all right make sure you guys are followed on instagram at your friend kyle underscore if you guys want a chance to win the free playstation 5 that i'm giving out and make sure you guys are subbed to this channel as well all right i also upload on tiktok uh twitter all that stuff like i do all that and i stream every day on twitch live at your friend kyle i mean we just we just we're getting it done this year man we're getting it done this year double uploads all year you guys should enjoy it i'll see you guys soon peace